The Queen has an incredible skill for lightening the mood. Yep, this week we saw her attend the G7 summit, arguably the most serious and influential all meetings, and she managed to break the ice during a photo call with those world leaders. Let's have a look at that. How's that? Are you supposed to be looking in, as if you're enjoying it? Yes, definitely. If you could, if you could, uh, we, we have been enjoying ourselves in spite of appearances. And Rebecca English is back with us now. Rebecca, am I right in thinking that there is more of this that goes on? We just don't usually see it. Absolutely. The Queen, although she can be quite shy sometimes, she's quite kind of witty in a dry way. And you will often hear that kind of banter, dare I say, dare I use the word, uh, behind the scenes. I mean, for example, there was a fantastic video that we saw this week of her meeting Scott Morrison, the Australian Prime Minister, um, at Windsor Castle, which is actually the first kind of in-face audience she's had, gosh, I think since last, last March. Um, and he made a point of saying to her how excited the uh, G7 leaders had been to meet her and that she was quite the hit and everyone was talking about it at dinner the next day. And you saw the Queen kind of look at her hands and say, oh, good Lord, really? You know, and, and that's what you actually do see in private a lot. And she met her 13th US president. Do you think she still enjoys these big events? Well, I don't know about the word enjoy, because I suspect at 95, she'd lo lo love to do nothing more than to be putting up her feet or going out walking in the countryside or riding. But of course, it takes us back to that old cliche, but it's a really important one nonetheless, that duty runs through the Queen like a stick of rock. And, you know, she vowed to devote her life to this country, whether it be long or short. And, and that's what she's doing. And I think if she is going to do these events, and they are fewer and far between in view of her age, that she's going to do them and do them well and and there is no one better than the queen at employing that legendary royal power of soft diplomacy and on to a slightly smaller event i heard something about a sword and a cake this week too this was absolutely brilliant so after the leaders reception at the g7 summit um, the queen was joined by the duchess of cornwall and the duchess of cambridge for a rare joint engagement at the Eden Project and they were marking the achievements of the Big Lunch which is a kind of community-based initiative that's actually going to form uh, a large part of the Platinum Jubilee, Jubilee celebrations next week um, and she had to cut a cake to mark the occasion and she insisted on using this large ceremonial sword even though someone was offering a knife and was cracking jokes about it um, uh, you know had everyone in fits of giggles and I think it kind of refers us back to that earlier question doesn't it does she do and does she still enjoy it well if she's going to do it she's going to have fun while she does it and uh you know does she still relish doing these things i think in some funny sort of way she does so richard queen the ultimate icebreaker there what did you make of that <laughs> i do wonder if she sort of feels a need now to um, step into the breach left by Prince Philip that, you know, although he hasn't been on official events for years, I think sort of ingrained in her was letting him make those kind of jokes. All that Prince Philip humour for decades will, will have rubbed off on her and now she's sort of doing it alone and cracking those jokes. And with the cake thing, she actually told somebody off. <laughs> somebody tried to get her in a real knife and she said, oh, no, I can bloody well do it with this, um, <laughs> with this sword. And, and she really gave her a ticking off. It was very Prince Philip-esque and it was re actually really nice to see. I just say, yeah. what, what's so incredible is her stamina, isn't it? She was at this you know, G7 event, a party really, you know, in, in Cornwall. And then the next day she's back at Windsor presiding over the trooping the colour. You don't, you don't see her yawning or even looking tired. She, she was tapping her feet. That's all we have for you on our YouTube show. But to see the rest of this episode, including some more fascinating royal revelations, head to www.mailplus.co.uk forward slash royals or click the link on screen now.